he made the assertion that white people should commit suicide as an ethical act. And here's a, a quote from him directly. The reality in South Africa today is that most white people spend their whole lives only engaging black South Africans in subservient positions. My question is then how can a person not be racist if that's the way they live their lives? The only way then for white people to become part of Africa is not to exist as white people anymore. If the goal is to dismantle white supremacy and white supremacy is white culture, then the goal has to be has to be to dismantle white culture and ultimately white people themselves. The total integration into Africa by white people will also automatically then mean the death of white people as white as a concept would not exist anymore. So here's the kind of crazy gambit um, of this talk. I want to suggest that psychoanalytically we could even make the argument that there was something ethical in Delport's statements. Now, I suppose, you know, parenthetically, we could say that Delport's kind of a, a young, fired up academic, and maybe, you know, there's a little bit uh, too much of a dramatization in some of his, his comments. But nevertheless, I want to make the argument that there is some kind of ethical dimension to his, his provocations. Um, I think that Delport took his white audience to the threshold of a type of symbolic extinction, or at least the contemplation of what that might be. He took them to a proposed end of whiteness. Or in more psychoanalytic terms, we could say that Delport offered his white audience the opportunity, one they didn't seem to appreciate for the most part, but the opportunity to contemplate what we could call the castration of, of whiteness. 